Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. Today, I am on our roof. Yes, that's right. A lot of you asked, well, where do you live, Nick? <laughs> well, right now, I don't live here, but we have been building this house for the last almost a year now. Every weekend I go to work. No, sorry. Every week I go to work. It feels like that one. And every weekend I am here building. And the builders have just finished the roof. And I'm on top of the roof. Today I feel I'm on top of the world because my plaque, 100,000 subscribers, has just arrived. And I've just done the big reveal. <laughs> I hope you watched it. Today we are touring work in progress. I am in Anghiari, which is 30 minutes from Arezzo and about five kilometers from a town called Santa Polcro, where I'm living in the moment. And we are meant to be moving in this house very soon. And <laughs> like always, it is not finished. Now we're going to do a tour of the property. I wanted you to see it as we are going along with the building process. I hope you enjoy this tour. We're going to get off the roof. The builders, the roofing company that did this job, and I will tell you that we had a number of quotes and we chose this company called Edelizia Acrobat. They're a company all over Italy. They have an office in Arezzo. And the two guys or three guys that did this roof was, they were absolutely amazing. And I will put a link in the description below. If you need any roofing work done to your house in Italy, just call those people, mention my name. They are fantastic. They finished this roof, which is 290 square meters. That's a lot of square meters in three and a half months. Now I've seen other buildings and other builders who are doing roofs and they've spent eight months, eight months with scaffolding either side. These guys have ropes and harnesses like I'm wearing today and they were brilliant. Are you ready for the tour? There will be a cut as I get down through the roof. Let's go. Oh, right. I'm down and we're going out. I've taken off my harness um, and I've just hung that up outside the door. So we are going, this room um, is basically just an attic room, but the first thing I'm going to show you is this just phenomenal counter levered staircase with wrought iron balustrades going down over four floors. and. <laughs> If we, if I can just get the camera over and then maybe you can uh, see that. One of the first things I saw, I did a video of this property and I will put a link in it to this property at the end and I saw it in its raw state. Now, it had this skylight above, hopefully the camera will adjust. And it was completely covered over with asphalt. And I knew immediately when I saw it that that was going to make the most wonderful light. And we're a lot of hard work. And I, I did that with my partner one weekend. We bought all the equipment and it just took us a day. And I will tell you, I had two or three quotes for builders to do that, and the price that they were quoting was absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> now, this is our house, and I will tell you right now that I am totally in love with this property. Now, we're gonna start at the top and we're going to work down. So I'm gonna go into the attic areas. Now, when Acrobat came to do this roof, they took away 300 quintali of rubbish off this roof. It was just incredible. And those support bars, I've been told by our wonderful architect. And also, if you need an architect in Italy, um, I'm gonna put Giacomo's details below 
And I suggest that you contact him because he is one of the nicest people I think I have ever met. He's just incredible. Now, we are going to turn this into a upstairs cinema. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Now, it just really needs a bit of spit and polish on the walls and it'd be fine. Now, I have my trusty torch with me and um, I'm going to show you this door. It is quite dark, but I don't want to shine too much of a light on it. This building was built in 1620 and that is a original door from 1620. Now, I'm hoping <laughs> that this is going to be my, well, roof cave, not man cave, well, man cave, but roof cave. And then again, when we talk to the builders, I, you know, we talked to one firm, they said, oh no, this is all gonna come off. And then I talked to um, wonderful Giacomo, and I said, look, what's the, what's the solution here? And he said, well, why don't we just put a concrete, you know, screed on top and reinforce it, and then we can keep all the original patina. And look, I mean, really, you've got, you know, 400, 500 years of beauty. Some of you might not see that as beauty, but I actually see it as just stunningly beautiful. Now, one of the reasons why we bought this property is because we are in the Cento Storica, the old town, right in the middle of Anghiari, and this has this phenomenal garden. It's just, it is huge. Huge, where do you find a garden like that? And we've got basically khaki, which is priscillums, we've got figs, we've got olives, we've got cherries and apples and pears and plums. You know, it must have been an incredible formal garden. It is completely overgrown. And unfortunately, that is going to have to wait until next year. But hey, if I come around here and I just lift up and I show you this roof, Now, Giacomo suggested that we get this lightly sandblasted, and uh, well, I'm in two minds at the moment. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do, but um, I would probably, I want to keep, I want to keep the originality of it. Uh, this is a palazzo, though, so this is not basically a rustic farmhouse. So it would have been something which is actually quite noble. Yeah, and, I'm not quite sure what, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to do, but we'll work that out at the end. Well, what do you think? Do you think I should paint it? Do you think I should do something else with it? I mean, what do you think? I just had to make an adjustment on the camera there. Um, I forgot to set one of the settings from uh, my uh, introduction to uh, the video. Uh, look at the light. It's a cloudy day, as you've seen already, um, when I did the opening piece, but, uh, it's just beautiful light. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Right, we are going to go into another attic space um, and I'm going to show you that. And again, it has this door, especially uh, just, oh, look. Oh, can you see that? 500 years old and here you've got hand. If I come down, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. It's going to be too dark, is it? I'm going to try to pull across. Hand forged hinges with handmade nails. Now in here, we are probably just going to have a storage area because the roof at some part is too low to make it into a habitable space. I'm not really going to go in there because it's just, yeah, too dark. And I'm going to save my little torch for when we get down onto the ground floor. Let's pull back out and then get into this wonderful light. Oh. Now, even on a cloudy day, the camera would adjust, but it's still... It's still blown out, isn't it? It's still, you know, 
I mean, the building was so neglected. It, it just, it just, it just spoke to us. Well, I think more to uh, to me than uh, my beautiful partner. She just uh, thought the whole thing was daunting, but you know, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it, it was just, it just phenomenal, just absolutely phenomenal. Now, this used to be the maids' quarters in England. Um, you know, your servants would have lived in the basement, um, but in Italy, they would have lived in or in the attic. And we found this wonderful original, still working, Bill has been using it a lot, wooden ladder. And you can see, hey, if I just get over there, can you, can you see that? Now that's a piece of wood that's been hand cut and driven through two pieces. Um, I'm always slightly wary of them, but you know, they thought it was just wonderful. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, clever Italians, really. Honestly, now we're gonna go back and I'm going to show you the maid's room. Let's get in there. Now a huge section of the roof was replaced where basically it needed to be. Um, and then what we did is that we went out and I'm gonna put up so you can see that. And I just, what we did where we could is that we went out and we bought um, architectural salvage tiles because I just think the new ones weren't in keeping with this building. And uh, this building is listed um, and technically, you know, it is a, an Italian monument. And although that we have purchased this property, I would say to you that we are more of guardians of, of this incredible space and we need to look after it and restore it. That's exactly what we need to do. Yeah, oh, so nice. There's uh, two clocks that, uh, and you can see them from the terrace as well, and they chime. I haven't slept here overnight, so I'm not quite sure what is going to happen and whether they chime all the way through the night. I wouldn't have thought so. I thought everyone would be up in arms. Look at the light, honestly. Now, I have no idea why somebody painted the hallway like that and to be honest with you i think they painted it with one eye closed yes i do <laughs> i don't know why they've done that right so we haven't got on to really doing anything onto um the top floor the attic spaces and everything else because we just haven't had the time but oh look at that staircase counter lever staircase now you won't be able to build that anymore there is nobody or oh, i mean one the stone on its own would be far too expensive but they just you just can't do that anymore you really can't now i'm going to show you what is going to be one of the principal bedrooms when we bought the house it was chocker block with stuff I mean stuff, and I, and I love stuff. All right, here you go. This is our handiwork, and this is going to be a principal bedroom. Now, we've had to paint every room with lime paint. Now, I tried, my partner and I, Victoria, tried a lime paint ragging for Approximately, or if I had it all up, it would have been about three or four days. And I, it, it just wasn't, just wasn't regal enough. It was, wasn't stylish enough for both of us. It really wasn't. It just looked like a dog's dinner. You know, I know, <laughs> I'm sorry if you have that in your property. I'm sure it would be, in other circumstances, much nicer, but for us, it just didn't work. Now, that is a original, and I think if I come across here, well, if I show you this lamp, now that lamp is 1950s, and it's beautiful, and I've kept it. And what we've done is that we've looked through the entire house, and we have tried to keep absolutely 
everything. I want to make it as original as it was. I really don't like new things. That's a 1930s sink. I'm just gonna come round and give you the return view. Yeah, I mean, look at the ceiling. Yeah, there's a lot of work on there. I tell you, hang on, let's get a bit quicker. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Anybody who's restored their own home and they, they see that you, you just think it's a daunting task that you will never be able to do. And then as it suddenly all comes together, you just, you just get this feeling of satisfaction and, and joy. Now I'm able to do this because um, my father, uh, who I got to know later on, fortunately um, my parents got divorced when I was very young, but I got to know later on, uh, was a builder and he, Basically, I used to work and go and work with him to make some pocket money when I was a student. And I learned an awful lot from him. And my stepfather was a very nice man as well, or is a very nice man. My father passed away, um, not from COVID, but in COVID. Now, this sign above is gorgeous. And the translation of that is, I've got to put the right translation in words below. Here we are going into the first apartment and this area here is going to be a bathroom. Now bear with me because there's a lot to see. Now we're going to come into what is going to be my stepchildren's room and it's going to be their living room. And you can see why in the corner that we needed to have a new roof put in. There's been quite a lot of water infiltration and there's been a lot of work which has gone on to actually create a tight sealed weather tight environment. But I'm going to pull into this room now because this is another room which we have finished and well finished in the sense that basically we have just about to start uh, with more liming on a color. Now, the Superintendenza, who basically are fantastic people because they want to keep the originality of these properties and we want to keep the originality as well. Oh, you might be able to see something which is, uh, which is the big reveal which I'm going to show you uh, a little bit later in the video, but can you see this undulating wall? As you run your hand down that, it's, it's, it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful now it's getting quite dark now it's the end of the day so i'm just uh just gonna get across there quickly we've got a lot to do to give you the full immersion right so that's one room which i think i'm going to be able to finish this weekend and then we go back out into what is going to be a living room and then back into what was the kitchen. And if we come in here, we've got lots of stuff and bits and pieces, but I just think I'm going to show you this. And we've got a work set up here. Um, I've had all the windows taken off and I haven't put new windows in. What I've done is that there is also, um, there are some amazing artisans which you know, just don't exist anymore in other parts of the world. But um, I took all the windows off and I took them in my truck and I took them down to this chap um, in Chita de Castello. And I'm going to put a link to him as well. And he is 80, still working. And he is just the most incredible person. And he put all new glass and cut out all the old glass and did an incredible job. Now, we found this wood burner. It was here. It's phenomenal, isn't it? 
just stunning. Not sure what we're going to do with it. There's a lemonaya in the garden and um, I think I might put it in there for a bit of winter heating. We'll get to that later. Now, where are we going to go, Nick? Um, I'm, I'm going to just pop out here onto this terrace so that you can see this and then maybe I can just see a little bit of the clock tower. Now, Angiari is famous for a battle which happened in 1440. It's also famous because it has an almost direct line of sight, straight road leading to San Sepulchre, which was built in 1341. Well, I better get my skates on, Nick. The clock tells me it's actually 20 to five. And if I lift up, I don't know if I can get the camera high enough, but I'm gonna try at the top of the garden. And I don't think that we're gonna have enough time to see it today. You look over the National Park. Yeah, fantastic. Now at the back of the house, you've got this just gorgeous stonework and lots of builders have come and said, oh, we've got to plaster that. And I went, no, <laughs> no, we are not plastering that at all. It's going to stay like it is. It's been like that for years. And you might say to me, it's like basically, well, what about water infiltration? And well, the walls are about a meter thick. You know, you need kind of biblical rain for a month to get any water infiltration into that. Now, I'm gonna just see if I can hold this gimbal and the camera with one hand and delve into my pocket and then pull out this little light. Let's see if I can turn that on for a sec, because I, yeah, let's see. Oh, there you are, a bit of light. And we're gonna get in here because in here was, there was only two bathrooms in this house, but what you do have here is an original early 1970, uh, sorry, 19th century uh, cast iron enameled roll top bath. And what are we doing with it? We are absolutely keeping it just the way it is. And then here there's quite a dark room, but we are going to build another bathroom. I'm just going to shine the light in here. Let's see if I can just shine the light up so you can just see what was there. Yeah, lots of old wooden furniture. And then also here, there is another, oh, come down, Nick. Oh, I can't seem to hold it with one hand. Yeah, there's a terracotta stove. Unfortunately, that's got a crack in it, but that's kind of probably, not sure when, I have to bit of further investigation, but it's certainly earlier than the 1950s. Right. Oh, am I going to show you? I'm going to, I'm going to show you this now because I think this is incredibly important. Are you ready? Oh, look at the flare coming off that. <laughs> now this used to be a ballroom. I know. I am. I am totally in love. It is phenomenal. Yeah, we'll get a little bit, we'll, 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 we'll get down because there's quite a lot more to show you, but I really, yeah, it's just incredible. Right, let's get down because I think that uh, I want to um, show you some of the treasures that we have found. Let's get down here. So we are now on the first floor. Can you see the light shining from that light bulb? Look, look at the light. Oh, it's like, oh, the way that it just peels across into darkness. Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning. Right, 
Now this is used, we're gonna use this, or it has been used as a workshop and a storage area as well. It is quite dark, I'm gonna get in. Um, I think I'm gonna turn some lights on, otherwise, what am I gonna do next? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put, oh, that's dreadful light. That's, let's have a look at that. I actually prefer it like that. We're gonna have it a little bit darker. I might have, I'm gonna put that down, put that down. And there you go. And I'm going to get across and show you a couple of things. Right, first of all, we just, we found this just incredible stuff. Look, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. 1950s pram. Phenomenal. World War II mortar casing. I don't know what's that doing there. I have no idea what that's doing there. Right, and then we found some, basically, oh, where's that? We found this piece of paper and I looked at it and it was from 1931. <laughs> it's just bits and pieces of just history absolutely everywhere. This used to be from an old privy. Now, a privy is a toilet, and you just would have sat on that, opened that up, and did your business, and then put that down. And then also, I don't know whether you can see in here, that there's this Murano chandelier, which I spent a couple of hours restoring, and hopefully is going to go back in the house. Now, if you want me to go further rummaging, you just send me a comment below, and then we'll have a really good rummage around here. But let's get, <laughs> let's get on with the tour. Right. So, pick that up. Now, I haven't shown you in this room two things. Now, two things which are incredibly important. Now, the first one is the ceiling. And I know there's not a lot of light, but there you have it. Isn't that beautiful? And the other thing, which I haven't shown you, is the original flooring. I'm just going to come down and show you that. Yeah, this is another roll top bath. Really? Yup, yeah, we're going to clean those and look after them and love them. Right. Let's get out of there. Let's get into the next room. Now, this is a, another apartment. Oh, it's quite dark. Let's, let's see if we can get in here. Right, in we go. Just bear with me for a sec. I'm going to uh, just get across. Hopefully the camera will focus and adjust. And then we come into part of the house which we have completed. Oh. Yeah, we've used lime paint everywhere and I have tried to keep uh, as much as the originality as possible and I have kept these windows because basically the glass has all been handmade. It's a very nice chap next door and he's just bought another apartment and um, they're doing some work on that as well. Look at this floor, <sighs> phenomenal. Now I bought that chair at a antiques market in a small village called Pisignano. I know, what a name. And it's just beautiful and it was 15 euros, 15 euros. Oh, the floor is just amazing. Absolutely, totally amazing. Yeah. Yeah, hard work. Uh, if I come along here, and we are going to go now into the main salon. Now, I have worked on these doors quite considerably and to try to make them uh, 
uh, in the original edition, but I don't know whether you can see this. If I lift this up, this key, whether it will focus or not. But the key, let me see if I can turn it that way. Uh, can you see the lock? Hang on one sec. Yeah, handmade. Fantastic. All right, are you ready? It's like a dream. If you uh, watched the original video when I first saw this property, um, you would know that uh, I came upstairs and there was my uh, dear friend Nick Sullivan and he was here and uh, I mean, it, that was enough for me. It really was. It just, it was just the most incredible thing I think that I have seen It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna walk back into the corner of the room so you can understand how big this room is. And I'm gonna to have to, hang on, I'm gonna to have to lift up. Oh, right, right back into the corner. Yeah. It's a dream an absolute dream and I can't wait to live here. Now we're going to go across and I am going to give you a little tour of the other house and a couple of other wonderful things that we found. So if you walk into uh, along this room where we came in and this is going to be our dining room and then it has this amazing square 30 by 30 original tiles and somebody has replaced one you can see that and the difference of the color i don't know what happened there and am i going to replace it no i'm not nick it is part of the history of the house Yeah, beautiful. Now that door leads directly out into the garden space. And I think I've shown you enough of the garden. So basically, uh, I think we're going to look at the kitchen now. And uh, Victoria and I purchased um, on a, a website. Uh, you probably know which one that is. Uh, starts with B and basically we had it shipped here and that is a wood burning stove from the UK with a back boiler in it but what I want to show you is this this is original fireplace which dates back to the 15th century now I've had a couple of people look at this and very interesting they told me that a lot of noble people, when they moved from their country houses, um, took their fireplaces. <laughs> and I don't know whether you can see the coat of arms. Let's get a little bit closer. I, I, yeah, I'm sure you can. Look at that. Oh, oh it's... Yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. And an awful lot of work's gone into that as well to bring it back to its, it had paint, you know, all over it. So really it's called, you know, people are called building, but it's called restoration more than anything and love. And then we are going to go, I haven't turned a single light on actually. Uh, let's see if I can get this, oh, there you go. Bop. Yeah, but it's an orange light in here. And this is going to be the laundry room and pantry. Um, but look at the floor. We've still got to wax this one. But uh, look at that. Yeah, it's so beautiful when you see basically and the undulating of the tiles and you know how they've pitted over the years. Yeah. 
And then what we did is that basically we didn't change the radiators at all. And basically for those that uh, like old radiators, uh, they haven't got a nice design. Those ones are jolly expensive nowadays if you can find them. But these are in cast iron and I have filed them, not filed them, but sanded them down and then sprayed them with a special paint. And that's just absolutely fantastic. You know, why would you want to change them? If it's not broke, don't fix it. And then the other ones that I want to give you now are basically all aluminium. And you know, they're fine aluminium ones, but the moment you turn the heating off, they go cold in about half an hour. Oh, <laughs> the light, I gotta stop for a second. Now I'm going to pull up so that you can see. Hang on a minute. Wait a second. Oh, it's a work of art, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. It's just going to flare out at the top because basically it's the kind of the end of the day now. The clocks are going to go back in a couple of weeks. I'm right, gonna get back in here. Now we're in the canteen and I want you to come down and basically show you this. I mean, I've had to do this video this week because basically uh, I have to. <laughs> um, but the weather forecast all week is for dull overcast weather. Now we are in the cantinas. And it has this most amazing door at the end and I'm gonna get my woodworking chap who did or is doing all the windows and I'm going to get him to make me a door and he is going to keep the original door and we're going to restore that and then we're going to have that with a new lock in it. But one of the incredible things that we found here in this house was I'm gonna to have to turn my little torch on and hopefully not drop the gimbal is that if I come across here, I'm gonna slowly pull down. Oh, Nick, be careful. Oh my God. Here, look with the torch. It's gonna to go down. I put a bit more light. Can you see? Oh, that is the original well. Now that's about 40 feet deep. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And then also, as we come up and I turn around, that this, which is gonna come into view right now, used to be where they used to wash all the clothes. I don't even know how they got that in there. And that's a, solid piece of stone that's been carved. I'm just going to go and basically, because what we did before we purchased the house, because you have to wait if you're buying uh, a listed building in Italy, um, the government has a right to buy it at the same price that you're buying it f at. And they have to give you a decision in two months. So we had to wait, but the really kind owners let us just come to the house and do some gardening and while we were around and I'm not going to go out there but while we were around if I look down here and you can see there's a couple of doors on top of that there was stuff everywhere and we pulled that out and started clearing it all away and then there is another well and that would have been for your horses so you would have had one well for your drinking water, and they would have drunk it, and you would have had another well for the horses. Now, the last bit of the tour. Ah, oh, it's just gonna get. Oh, I gotta go to a little torch in here. Oh, there's a light I could have turned on, actually. And then we're gonna come down here, and this would have been the cantina, and it was covered in stuff absolutely covered. We had to get a specialist company to come and take it all away, but there was one barrel left. 
And the small barrel that you can see, I found in the attic, you see that? Right, and that is sealed. And that would have been fortified wine, that would have been your Vin Santo, that, uh, and that would have lived in the attic. It really is phenomenal. Just incredible. I know it's pitch black now, but I'll see if I can get a light on here and just, there's two more spaces to show you. See whether I can show you that. Now, the main ballroom at a later stage used to be a chocolo, which was like a gentleman's club that is underground and about two meters under the street level. And it's the cantina where you would have put, you know, your food and technically it would have been your fridge. And then coming up here into the store, there's just a cubby hole, which I think you probably would have stored your wine. And certainly I'm going to be using it as a wine storage area later on. I think I'll leave that light on for a second, then we can come back in a minute. <gasps> oh, Nick. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me show you this. I'm looking for some doors and I'm always out, as you know, in my car. And I found this door, 16th century door. And I bought that at a junkyard for 50 bucks. Yeah, look at the patina on that. Uh, come down. I mean, look at the, look at the. <laughs> Just lost for words. It's just beautiful. And I'm gonna use that now. We're down onto the ground floor. And what we've got is the entrance hall. And we're just gonna come down. And I, there's a toilet, which, oh, I don't know. There's a cloakroom downstairs at the bottom. And I'm going to basically show you the last room. Now, this used to be the local doctor's surgery. And it's just a little room and it was serviced by that small toilet. And you know, you can imagine it's got stuff. Now the chimney guy's coming on Thursday and we're going to put all new piping down the chimneys because we're going to have a mixture of pellets and wood burners to help to heat the house. I'm gonna come up and show you these frescoes as you come in. Ah, a little show up. And then I'm going to pull out with very limited light and it's rush hour in Angiari. I'm just going to come across and show you this phenomenal street coming all the way down. Oh, don't get one over. Right, well, there you have it. Our house in the middle of the street and what a house it is. Um, I need to just thank my beautiful partner, Victoria, um, and my stepchildren and my son, Marcello, who's now in London doing an MA in creative computing. I love you. And I just want to thank absolutely everybody everybody who has taken the time and trouble to send me a comment and to to be part of this journey and if you would like me to continue while we're doing the works here to do another video obviously i'm not going to do it every week but there's a possibility maybe i could do one once a month um just let me know and uh, i will be happy to do so <laughs> thank you so much everybody it's a journey and I love you and well, I love this house as well. Thank you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.